Hey everybody, Dave here. In this video, we're gonna talk about why early retirement is not all it's cracked up to be. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So a little back history here, in roughly about 2015, I found the Appalachian Trail and then I figured out, you know, how am I gonna be able to retire so I can go hike the Appalachian Trail? I need to quit my job, I need to take six months off of work. And I was like, why not just retire and then go hike the Appalachian Trail? That's how I found the fire movement in 2015. So at that point, I already had, you know, I don't know, roughly $750,000 to my name. And obviously, I came up with a number of like 1.25 or something like that I needed. So I wasn't too far off. Um, I had plans of retiring in 2020 and going to hike the Appalachian Trail. And then obviously, COVID happened and all that. So... Long story short, in 2022, I decided to quit my job, go hike the Appalachian Trail. And uh, so that was a done deal. You know, when I hiked the Appalachian Trail from June to no, roughly November, it took me 175 days to hike the Appalachian Trail. And then after that, I had plans of going over to uh, different countries such as Thailand and whatnot. So when I retired in 2022, I had roughly just shy of two million dollars to my name something like that right it was plenty enough for me to feel comfortable a lot of it was in jeppy if you go look at some of my older videos you'll see how much dividends i was generating and all that stuff so my portfolio today looks significantly different than my portfolio in 2022 so right now i had over three thousand shares of spy and I've reduced my Jeppy to, I think, uh, about $50,000 an hour or so. And that's all I'm in, is Spy and Jeppy. And then I have a little bit of capital into VU for an HSA. So when I got done with the Appalachian Trail, I had planned on going over to Thailand and just hanging out over there, kind of figuring things out. Um, as some as you may know, you know, my gut after eating crappy food for an entire six months was not having, um, it wasn't really liking the adjustment to the good food, which seems kind of odd. So I decided to cancel my trip to Thailand and uh, stay in the U.S., eat healthy, and try to repair my gut. Let me back up a little bit further. So in 2022, when I was hiking the trail, a customer I had been supporting since 2015 reached out to me and said, hey, we're hiring, I'm quitting, we're hiring, and are you interested? I said, yeah, I'm kind of interested, but I told her I was hiking the Appalachian Trail, and I have no access to a resume or anything like that. So, I, you know, I didn't think much of it. They filled the position. Uh, when I got back, um, so she just kept checking in, you know, the entire trail, maybe every month or so. Um, and then, you know, when I got down to the trail in November, it was right, I think it was the day before Thanksgiving or so, um, you know, I told her I was done, whatever, and she says, hey, you know, we really could use your help, you know, um, you know, there's been a lot of turnover on the team, and, uh, so I said, well, you know, all right, let me, let's talk about it, you know, so we, we talked on the phone about it, and pretty much, uh, you know, trying to get me back in the door, so, and, you know, my whole pro thought, thought process behind it was, is I don't really want to go back to work, but if I ever did go back to work, this is the only uh, company I'd probably want to work for because I had supported them since 2015. So, you know, I've got like, you know, seven, eight years of history with them. Um, you know, I know the environment, low stress, get paid good. So um, I came up with a number and the number was, uh, you know, pretty much like, you know, asking for the world, really. And that was the number they gave me so i ended up going back to work in february of 2023 and so that's where we sit now uh, there's a little bit of you know some nuances in there between uh february 2023 and now uh it being march 2024 but i'm not going to really talk about all those new details because they don't matter right the whole premise of this video is why early retirement is not all cracked up to be right not all it's cracked up to be when you are or were as young as I was when I retired, and so in 2022, I was, what, 47, right? So none of my friends, no family members other than my mom, of course, but, uh, you know, brother is not retired. You know, I mean, what am I going to do? What were you going to do with your time, right? 
So I, I remember when I was actually, you know, looking at retiring and talking about it and the fire movement, watching videos on it, reading blogs on it, reading Mr. Money Mustache on it, stuff like that. And I came across somebody that said, you know, I got to be frugal for 10 years just to retire frugal and poor, right? And there is some truth to that big time, right? You are going to sacrifice for 10 years so you can retire early so you can pretty much be poor and live on a fixed income uh, pretty much the rest of your life, right? The earlier you retire, the more difficult it is and the cheaper and the more frugal you're going to have to be the rest of your life as well, right? So if you're, say, 20 years old and you, you know, work real hard and you save and invest for 10 years, just to say you're 30 years old with $1 million, let's just, just use that example, right? So you're going to generate, say... You know, fifty thousand dollars at best off of that portfolio. Some of that money is probably going to be on a retirement side, right? Like a tax deferred account. How are you going to get that money out? You're not going to be able to live off the entire million dollars. You're going to have to live off of whatever was on your taxable side. That might be this to say five hundred thousand dollars, right? How are you going to live off of five hundred thousand dollars? Can you do it? Sure, certainly you can, right? Somebody may be able to live off of ten thousand dollars a year over in some other country. But you're going to be stuck like that for quite a while. What if things change? What if you change your mind? You want to come back to the U.S. Then what are you going to do? Right? I, I don't think that a lot of people think about all the repercussions of retiring early. It sounds great. I'm not saying it is not great. Right? I, I you know, <laughs> wanted to hike the Appalachian Trail for, for many years. And I had no plans of going back to work. But once I reached that goal of hiking the Appalachian Trail... I got bored, you know, and my stomach hurts, um, you know, I mean, I need to fix that. What am I going to do? Nobody else I know is retired. Nobody else I can hang out with. And sure, I can go over, high, you know, go over to, um, you know, Thailand and whatnot. But, you know, I mean, you're going to get bored over there too, you know. I'm sure you're going to meet people and stuff. But I think the allure for, you know, the fire movement is the FI part. Okay, now the FI part is the best part of the FIRE movement, in my opinion, financial independence. So me, right now, as we sit, right, um, I'm financial independent. I don't need to work, right? I'm working because, you know, I have other goals at this point. And I'm going to talk about those in a future video. Matter of fact, I got some real... Uh, real juicy videos, I think, planned. So so that's that's my thought process on that, right? I, I don't need to work. I'm financial independent already. Um, you know, I can retire any day I want. I can, you know, I got F. I don't. I wouldn't say I have F you money, right? But I could basically tell my work, screw you. I'm out of here. I'm pissed off. Whatever. I'm done, and I'd be perfectly comfortable with that. Uh, with where I'm at in my life, 49 years old, with, you know, X amount of dollars, right? Um, so, anyways, I do plan on working for another three to four years, and. You know, it should be putting me up around the three million dollar mark. I mean, I have a reason why I'm going to be uh, wanting that amount, or you know, I'll talk about it in a future video. Uh, I didn't really want to touch on this video because the video would get long. So, I think the earlier you retire, the more difficult it's going to be because nobody else is going to be retired. And sure, if you want to travel the world, that's great, do that, right? But what are you going to do after that? I don't think people think beyond that. If you're by yourself, it's even worse. If, if you don't have a significant other, it's even worse, in my opinion. Uh, because you're, you're um, you know, the, the things that you want to do are going to change. Your goals are going to change. You know, how could you pretty much just retire on a Walmart salary? I'm going to use Walmart as a salary as an example. But how can you retire in $25,000 a year? And what if something changes? What if you want to take on a hobby that costs, you know, $20,000 a year? You know, and then how are you going to live, right? So this is the reason why the earlier retire, the earlier you retire, the more difficult it is, right? Um, if you're in your 40s, you know, you're you, number one, you're going to have more money most likely, but number two, a lot more things are figured out. But um, I have a future video to talk more about this specifically because I'm going to tell you the reason, you know, why I did what I did because that is, I think going to be a super eye-opening thing to mention so anyways let me know what you think down in the comments below i'm going to end this video before it gets too long i hope everybody has a great week 
and we'll see you next video thanks for watching